The question sometimes comes up about whether Etsy sells fake stuff. Now you have to understand that Etsy doesn't sell anything. Etsy is a platform where you can set up a shop and you can sell whatever falls within the terms of use on Etsy. But Etsy also doesn't screen people into Etsy. So there's a lot of people who have set up shops where they're selling things that they're claiming that are handmade, but they're not. They're buying them from a manufacturer and reselling them and labeling them handmade when they're not. Or they are, you know, selling things that they're claiming are vintage, but they're not. So it's really up to the customer to do your due diligence and make sure that you're kind of investigating these shops that you've never heard of and who don't have a selling history. Or if it looks too good to be true, it, it might be. It might be someone who is dishonest and is selling something that violates Etsy's terms of use and they just haven't been caught yet. Future Kara stepping in to interrupt myself. If you want to just cut through all of the nonsense about having to verify Etsy shops and wondering if you're going to get ripped off, just go to the Artisan Shopper blog. It's the Artisan Shopping Directory. The link is in the description. We put the site together in order to promote small handmade businesses who are actually making their own products or designing their own products. So just go over there, use the directory, find a, a verified shop. They're genuine handmade. And just skip all the having to verify things because if you find us on there, then you know that it's a legitimate shop. Etsy does shut shops down occasionally, but they can't catch everyone. It's like playing whack-a-mole. So as a customer, what you need to do is check to see, number one, does it look too good to be true? Is it a king size quilt that costs $50? Is it a handmade rug that costs $100? This is the kind of thing that should set up red flags and you shouldn't ignore that because I'm a quilter and I know that if you have a king size quilt that is handmade, it's taken hours to make and the fabric costs more than $50. So there's no way that anyone could be making money on that and they, they wouldn't be able to sell it unless they were buying it from someplace that is selling them super cheap and they're reselling it and claiming that it's handmade when it's not. So if it looks too good to be true, you should probably pass it because it it's not going to be what you expect. And a lot of times these dishonest sellers will set up a shop and they'll take some sales and then they'll just disappear. And you don't want to be taken advantage of. And there are scammers out there. We all know that. So just be careful. And like I said, if it seems too good to be true, pass it up and go on to the next person whose prices seem a little more realistic. You can also message the seller and ask them uh, questions about the product and see what their answers are. Because a lot of times the people who make things will be able to give you very good answers. They'll be able to give you specific answers about the products and how they're made. People who are just buying them and are reselling them won't be able to give you those answers or they might not answer you at all. And if you message a seller on Etsy and they don't answer you, that's your answer. So pass that shop up and go on to one with better customer service. Speaking of customer service, you can also check the reviews because a lot of times if you are looking at something and thinking that doesn't look right, there's something weird about this, the reviews will tell you that you're right because you'll see other customers who have been ripped off by that shop and they just haven't had Etsy have a chance to shut it down yet. So read the reviews and make sure that they're good and make sure that customers are satisfied. And you know, the occasional bad review is not a big deal, but if you see the same thing over and over, consistently, then you should take note of that and maybe pass that shop up and go on to the next one. And you don't have to buy from anywhere, but it is a good idea to just look at other people's experiences to see if there's consistency in a bad experience. You can also check the shop's photos. And if the photos look too good to be true, again, with that phrase, but if they just look like they're, they're a little, you know, there's something manufactured about them. You can right click on that image and a menu will pop up on your desktop, right click on it and it will say search web for image or something like that. And if you find that image on other websites, it's very possible that it's a, a manufactured product and that people are just using the product from the manufacturer's website. They're using the, the picture from the manufacturer's website on their listing. Because a lot of times these people have never actually touched the product and they're just drop shipping, which means that when you place an order, they turn around and place the order with the wholesaler and the wholesaler sends the item to you. So they never even touch the product. They've never probably seen it in real life. And that's the kind of thing that you can find out by looking at the pictures and doing a little investigation yourself. But again, if you're at the point where you're looking at something and thinking, do I need to investigate this? 
you might just as well skip on to the next shop because if something is sending up red flags for you, it's probably not, there's something wrong about it. And I sell cake decorations and I, it's, it's very weird, but there are people who manufacture the thing that I sell. And a lot of the people on Etsy who are selling them saying that they're handmade are not, they're not handmade because I know they're getting them from a manufacturer and they are just reselling them. And the ones that I make are handmade. I actually print them and cut them out. So they're different. They're different from these. But if you see the same seller with the same picture, or, I mean, different sellers, if you see multiple different sellers with the same listing photo or this, the something that just looks exactly the same, it's probably something that they've all bought from the same manufacturer and they're all selling it and they're all saying that it's handmade, but that's not true. So just use your common sense do a little investigation. You can go check the seller's social media to see what kind of presence they have. And do they actually post about the things they're making? Do they show them making those things? There's a lot of things that you can do to investigate, especially if you're buying something that's a little more expensive. And just to you know, make sure that you're actually buying something that's real. There is an article on the Artisan Shopping Directory blog about this. I'll post the link in the first comment here or in the description of this video, and you can go read that if you'd like to. But yeah, it's you have to. It's a buyer beware situation anywhere you shop online. I I've been ripped off. I've bought things that were not as they were represented, and it it just is something that you have to deal with. But honestly, if you see something and it just looks a little bit too good to be true look a little deeper because you might save yourself a lot of aggravation and time and money. So that's all. Leave me any questions if you have any, and I will talk to you later.